despite all the complexity with these new models and with new technology that can be somewhat unpredictable and somewhat hard to interpret, we are still accountable for how our technology impacts the world. Second, I think about accountability as the structure that we put in place so that we make sure that we consistently are enacting our principles and that we're taking them into account in everything that we do. Also, part of our accountability is to help our customers and partners be accountable. We have a set of principles that guide how we develop and how we sell and how we advocate for regulation on facial recognition because we feel like all three of those pieces are really critical to be accountable. We think it has a lot of great uses and we also think there are a lot of uses that could interfere with people's civil liberties or push society in a direction that we're really not interested in supporting. So in moving from our facial recognition principles to practices and processes that we can follow across the company, what we've had to do is to take a high level principle, such as our commitment to fairness, and think about how do we have our development teams view every stage of the development life cycle with those principles. So today we have a set of guidelines that they can follow and think about these sorts of considerations at every step of the life cycle. And that's really a first in this company and I think in many other places outside this company as well.